little rock and roll here with an update on my progress growing coffee and lemons in Poland. The first, this is my lemon tree right here, and the coffee, I mean the beans, the coffee beans are here, coffee trees are here. Coffee didn't do so good, didn't do, wasn't, didn't do so well. Um, but it's still alive. Now that they're outside, they're starting to really, new, green, new growth is coming out. One is doing better than the other. But the lemon tree, the first year I got one lemon, and I have to say, <laughs> it tasted the same as in the store, but it was nice to have your own lemon. But now that I put this outside, new growth growing and a bunch of new buds, which potentially could, could give me some lemons here. Again, this is the third year. So it's tough because our summers aren't so hot and they're not very long, but doing the best we can. But that's a, your update. It's hard, but it's possible. Uh, without a greenhouse, it's hard, harder. But I put them in the window in the wintertime on the eastern side, and they get a lot of light, and they stayed alive, but only in the summertime can they really thrive. Gonna have to, these have been, these have been transplanted into bigger pots the second year, and I'm gonna probably replant them and bring them higher in the pots. They were higher in the pots, and they kind of sunk down. So that's my uh, progress so far, three years in. And let me show you some other stuff around what I got growing. Well, here's a grapevine I planted a few years back. It's doing really good. Here in Krakow, I got some grapes. Gonna have some more grapes this year. This, this vine gave me some grapes. They were good to just snack on. But obviously, this is only maybe the third year. And, but this, this vine is doing really well, remarkably well. It's a, a black grape, probably similar to a similar to a uh, Concord grape, but it's, but it's a different variety. It's not Concord. It's doing pretty well. Some of the other vines. This one here is doing pretty okay. Not as well, but it might give me some grapes. Got a few other vines, but of pear trees here's some strawberries we planted this year already gave us a nice harvest and we got new growth so we should get some more fresh strawberries there's nothing better than fresh strawberries there's one back there and here we got a lot of new flowers this bed is deeper and it's doing better they may actually even be different plants but yeah you can see these strawberries right here so this would be like the second harvest of strawberries this summer, 2017. There's nothing better than fresh berries. Another pear tree. Uh, I think this is a blueberry. No, this is a raspberry. Just planted this year. Here's an apple tree. We got a lot of pests this year. Uh, pests, you know, we didn't spray right away. We should have sprayed earlier. Here is blackberries. Oh my God. This vine gave us a lot of blackberries last year. This is the new growth from last year that's now producing. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of blackberries. There is seriously nothing better than fresh blackberries in the morning. So this is the vine from the previous year. What I learned is um, the vines tend to be every other, every other year, right? So if you see new growth one year, don't cut it because that's where the blackberries will come the next year. I almost cut this vine because I thought it was a sucker, you know, but because it was just you know a vine sticking out but let it grow because the next year that's where the new growth the new berries will come from this is another blackberry i think this is growing wild i don't know I, I don't think i planted this one so that's the cool thing is they will start to spread here's a cherry tree oh yeah cherries are usually the second fruit that shows up and these are almost ready to pick this cherry tree is doing really well. Some more blackberries. This one is not maybe as, it's a different variety. So like for here, here's a, here's a new vine. There's not gonna be any blackberries on it this year, but next year, that's where the growth will come from. Blackberries, here's an apple tree. This is looking really good. I'm trying to keep it trimmed so it's not a super high, high big growth. I wanna be able to maintain it. 
uh, in an orchard, but there's a lot of variety here, different types of apples. Here is blueberries. Oh my God. Last year we only got one blueberry, but this year we're gonna get a lot. Look at these little babies. Blueberries. There's three plants here. They should start growing and become a nice big bush. Nothing, God, you know, fresh from your garden. Another apple tree, this is a different variety. It's been affected by some bugs. We did spray it, but not maybe not early enough. Oh, this one, look at that. Look at these blueberries. This is the second year. They were tiny little vines, tiny little, you know, things. This is a different variety, see that? Different variety of blueberries. But anyhow, this year we should get a lot. You know, at least, you know, every day you come out here, pick what's, what's ripe, and, you know, share it with the family. And then here's some new raspberries growing here. So, it's all good. Oh wow, look at this, what is this? This is, this is a non-fruit non thing. What I need to do is plant some nitrogen affixing trees in, in the middle of this sort of a uh, orchard, that's the, that's the strategy, but, um, what is this called? Um, clover. Clover is a nitrogen fixing plant, so it's actually good for the garden. It's good because it adds nitrogen to the soil naturally. I need to find some nitrogen fixing trees and plant one somewhere in the middle here so it helps add nitrogen to the soil you know, naturally. This has been an update from Holy Joe Rock and Roll on sustainable living. It's possible, you don't need a lot of land if you have a small backyard or even a balcony uh, that gets good sunlight, you can grow most of this stuff. Maybe not the trees so much, although you could grow them as dwarf trees and they will produce. It just takes a little bit of time. But these, the, the berries, the berries should definitely, you know, if you've got some big pots, you could definitely grow berries on your balcony. Eastern facing balcony, if you get a lot of sunlight and some good soil. You can you can have some good success. So this is Holy Joe Rock and Roll. Everything's possible. It's just up to you, right? Make it happen for the captain, because you're the captain. Oh, P.S. I almost forgot about the Malina or the raspberry. These are what's known as winter winter Malina, winter raspberries. So they come later. They come later in the season, and they're doing well, really good. Uh, at the end of the year, you cut them and they grow new growth every year and then produce fruit towards the end of the summer and these are these are doing really well and we should get a nice harvest from these raspberries this year as well so again small areas cultivated for growing you know really edible fruits and vegetables